CJ the champ. You were you? How do I don't even know how to say that? Are you the are you the the undisputed go? Hey, I don't know how to say it. Let's get it though. So this man charges up a Gallic gun and just yells at her. Enjoy retirement. <laughs> Let's get it. Say the name for me, boy, because I don't know what the hell you talking about. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the round table Jeez. in our first trial of 2024. Oh, and with this being the first trial of the year, we might as well start it off with a absolute king legend. Let's, Let's go ahead and get this started. Coming in around 5, 8, when about 150 pounds of pure violence, ignorance, and destruction. He is the wielder of the Forbidden Bay, El Drago, and made us realize that Beyblade was that serious. One of the greatest <laughs> menaces to ever do it, Ryuga. We well, all already know okay, we got okay, the okay, evidence okay. on deck. The <laughs> ranking system is Ryuga. Ryuga. Sounds like there should be two Ys in that ready to tally and hey. he will be ranked in our new leaderboard system in our 2024 update yes i know your eyes do not deceive you the round table now has patch notes so without further ado exhibit a let's go lightning el drago the forbidden bay that feeds off of pure negativity such as fear hatred <laughs> anger <laughs> And greed. Now, some of you are probably wondering, <laughs> well, CJ, how significant can this spinning top be? Well, what if probably wondering, <laughs> well, CJ, how significant can this spinning top be? Well, what if I told you that the Roman Empire was built off the back of this? Oh, oh, and I'm not done. This has destroyed civilizations. You see, the show doesn't tell you this, but if you really think about it, the prominent leaders that have probably used this bay in the past include. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover his. <laughs> He's only covered one. Cover that. Julius Yo. Caesar, Genghis Kong, Cleopatra, nigga, Napoleon probably used this. And then here's some of y'all probably go, well, CJ, no way these world leaders could have been in this universe. Okay, why is Moses here? Checkmate, nigga. This Sheesh. bay was so demonic they had to lock it away in the sacred bay village so nobody could ever touch it again. Until the dragon emperor pulled up and stole it. And right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, we're already getting into Ryuga's first charges. Breaking and entering and grand larceny. This man pulled up on some Indiana Jones type shit and decided to steal a national treasure with the power of a nuclear warhead. And look at him, he like, Ugh. It's talking to me. <laughs> yes. Yes, I want to be the goat. <laughs> so for Ryuga's first fight, he ends up fighting Jenga's dad. And well, <laughs> you can't even call this a fight. Bro got moved in under a minute tops. Knocked the f out and posterized right in front of his child. Jeez. Look at his disrespect. After he knocks him out, he rips off his bandana and just starts cleaning his bay and just throws it down at him and just starts <laughs> laughing at him. I should give this man a bonus point just off of that. Straight vile behavior. And they just left this man to die in this boiling hot volcano crater. This is supposed to be a whole kid show and Jenga thought his dad was dead. So a couple months pass and Ryuga's been healing in the healing chamber because El Drago then gave this man a mean Zenkai boost. And Jenga then came to come get his get back. So Ryuga sensed this man's presence and said, ah, it smells like bitch in here. And I kid you not, this man blew up the entire building just to make his entrance. Bro made sure to get to the highest point just to make sure he assaulted. That boy's a devious motherfucker, boy. Heard his dominance over Jenga. And Ryuga just started talking immense amounts of shit. He was telling him, Dad, Jenga, I got it. Did I just kill your daddy like a month ago? Wow, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. That was uncalled for. But after Ryuga you gonna do about shit it? for a good five minutes, they end up having the whole base stadium come up out the water so they can battle. But here's what actually makes this fight just wild. So at this point in the series, Jenga has pretty much washed everybody. This man's like a good 15 and 0 right now. Straight undefeated. So Ryuga basically had to show him who was the fraud and who was the goat. 
Cause this nigga Jigger got absolutely annihilated. I'm talking like straight embarrassed. Bro was getting knocked back. Oh, shit, my fault. It got so bad, this man Doji just started glazing Ryuga the whole fight. Oh, uh, yes, Master Ryuga. Look at how so elegant and so graciously El Drago spins to the left. Oh, so splendid. Reverse rotation just takes my breath away. Oh, my God, bro. Is dick riding all you do? No, I'm like, saying You literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it. And this fight just kept getting worse. <laughs> Look at him. Juggling his shit. Cracking the nigga shit. Had this man Jing on his knees looking like he about to pray for forgiveness. And while Jing is on his knees, right? Ryuga basically told him, wow, man, <laughs> you are ass. You might be more ass than your daddy. No wonder your mama left y'all. Jeez, bro, this man just, he ain't personal with it, boy. Listen, here's the thing, right? I know, because it happens, we see it happen with boxing events, UFC, uh, MMA events and shit like that, right? Where they're talking shit to each other and typing up the fight, you feel me? I've always said that when you cross that thin line of bringing like family into it or a kid into it, bro, you're done, bro. You asking to die at that point. No cap. I'd be more ass than your daddy. No wonder your mama left y'all. Sheesh. What did you say, nigga? You should kill yourself. Nah. Yep. Oh, this man Jenga got mad as hell, bro. Got a whole as rage boost. But this is where Jenga <laughs> shot himself in the foot. Because the angrier you get, the more power El Drago gets. Because El Drago's just going to absorb it. And you he see. Just fucking feet. Yo, that's crazy. This makes a perfect duo. Just takes because all that Ryuga shit and is a troll. So the more he pisses you off, the more power he gains. So this fight was basically wrapped up. That's bro crazy. shoots a Gallic gun in the air. And Kyle drives this man's bay into the ground. And it was all over. Pegasus cooked. Jenga cooked. Madoka about to make a bag because she knows she's got to repair this man's bay. And ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, this was just the start of the destruction. Because I'll be honest with you, that was just a prologue for this video. Now, prologue. We're at exhibit A, the greatest. Huh? Okay. See, you know, you know that's the issue right there, boy. You know they are a problem. When the start of the it, it didn't even start. We're, the video starting now. Five minutes in, bro. Six minutes in. The video is gonna start now. The crazy bullshit is gonna happen now, bro. What? Tournament run of all time. Ryuga's Battle Bladers run was something special, I'll tell you that. But before the tournament even started, look at his training regimen. This man has a total of 40 niggas surrounding him, and they have all been trained to master their bay type. So these are not your run of the mill scrubs. These niggas are elite. So all 40 of them shoot at him, and this man shreds Crazy. every single one of their bays. After he shredded them, he wasn't even finished. Bro said, nah, nigga, I ain't done yet. And sent every single one of them into the vortex. And just like that, this man just racked up 40 bodies. Now I know some of y'all gonna be like, <laughs> come on, CJ, they're not dead, nigga. Be for real. No human. Dead or not, bro. He, it's, it's 40 against one. That alone says enough. He can flick him on the forehead. It's still 40 on one. He, he won. Human being he is didn't surviving get that. I don't give a shit if you're Prime Tyson or fucking Houdini. You're dead. The sun, bro. <laughs> foot is gone. That nigga is amputated. So yeah, argue with a wall. Kill count up Max. to 40. So now it was That's time crazy, for the qualifiers. Bro. 40 on and you one. need a total of 50,000 bay points to make it to the tournament. So how did Ryuga rack up all these points? Simple. Go on the tear of a century. This man goes to a battle royale. What the fuck? What is this, 300, bro? With 99 opponents. He pulls up in his chopper, doesn't even get out. And obviously, everybody is shook. They don't want to fight the goat. So they all decide to team up on him. This man shoots from 99 on one. Bet you he wins this. Bro, it don't matter. It, it, yo the chopper and shreds that's everybody that's this nigga boomed the whole lobby crazy <laughs> this man soloed the whole lobby this man is a goat this man deserves all the glaze all the dick riding it don't matter this man's <laughs> run was so legendary it was on espn more than taylor swift this is sports center breaking news this just in ryuga is going on an absolute tear right now after recently zero. defeating 99 bladers at once and just moments ago blowing up the entire stadium we now have to ask the question is ryuga the goat joining me now is not skip bayless and not shannon sharp <laughs> uh, 
skip i'm gonna go ahead and tell you this right now this man is a goat oh lord here we go no nope, no nope, nope. skip listen to me i'm telling you he's better than jordan lebron kareem brady mahomes tyson oh, Ali, oh, oh, Messi. Shannon, stop what? it oh. stop it he's Shannon. not that good i mean come on he's using a uh, watch your words now he might pull up on you gang Bed and bag. <laughs> and you see skip this could be number 100 stand your ass because your ass be hating 24 fucking 7. Y'all, I'm not even lying to y'all. It got to the point where this man was winning at least two tournaments a day. I mean, look Jeez. at this. These two dudes right here are in the semifinals waiting to face Ryuga. Instead of letting them fight to see who was going to face them, this man came out and said, you know what? That's a waste of time. I might I'm as well too. fight both of y'all niggas at the same time. And y'all can already guess how this went. Rutero. Ah! Boom. Random nigga with the afro and the scouter on. Boom. They stood no chance. Then he walks up to him at the end of the tournament and tells him, what do you want? Yeah, man, we already lost, bro. Back off. Yeah, y'all are premium trash. Garbage. <laughs> premium. Yo, no, 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 no. Imagine being called premium trash, bro. You premium suck at what you do. Stop, bro. That's disrespectful, man. It's one thing to say, oh, you suck. Uh, you don't know how to play ball right for example you don't know how to play basketball you suck bro you're premium garbage playing basketball oh my god Straight come on fucking elephant testicles <laughs> so i would like you to join my crew what the fuck so now it was finally time I mean, for battle bladers and this is how you can tell how locked in Ryuga uh -oh. was they are having the opening ceremony with everybody out here this man is nowhere to be seen because he is in the locker room, just sitting in the dark fighting demons. You can tell exactly what he's thinking in his head. Oh yeah, I can't wait to cut these motherfuckers. Oh yeah. Yo. So in the first round, right? Let me see. Boom. He got packed up early. Yep, he got packed up in the in the pro in the prologue. He said <laughs> they just fought. Well, he just fought him and and her. Him, I I, I don't know. There he is. Yeah, they're all gone, boy. Ryuga has to face Hikaru. And well, <laughs> in all honesty, this is probably the worst violation in the entire series. So Hikaru's walking out all confident and everything. She really thinking she about to do something. But her confidence was about to sink to the bottom of the ocean. So here come the announcer glazing. In her opponent, the gold Ryuga. And look at this. Is that him? Yo, no way that CJ voice and all of that. If that's CJ, how the fuck? Yeah, fuck that bitch up. I got the whole house on you, my glorious king. And look at this. Oh, they man sound different. Out straight I think I heard Ola. Ola. This girl was shaking in her boots. Nigga, she was scared to even pull out the bay. But Ryuga did not care. Bro said, come on, bitch, time to dance. So they start in five seconds to the fight. He already cooking her. So then he ends up telling her, for having the balls to fight me, I'm going to send you on an all expenses paid trip to Cancun. So this man charges up a Gallic gun and just yells at her. Enjoy retirement, bitch. Man is hitting a two for one, bro. He's messing up. Well, he's winning the whole team, but then just packing them up too, bro. Like what? Yeah, right. uh, we got some stuff to discuss. So let's analyze this situation real quick. This man just blew a hole in the stadium, put this bitch in a coma, and that uh enjoy retirement line. I wasn't joking. After this fight, Hikaru never picked up a Beyblade ever again. She retired. And what makes this 10 times I worse, would too. she made a promise to her sick mother that she would become the best blader in the world. So this man did not just crush her. He crushed her dreams, her spirit, and overall just her mental state. This is easily double points. Uh, times four, please. Times four, please. Or times three at least, boy. Oh my God, bro. Damn. Damn. Next up on the chopping block was Subasa. Now Subasa's already had a running with Ryuga before, so he created a game plan, and that was to run away like a bitch the entire fight. It got so bad niggas was booing his ass. Why? That boy ass running. But 
Tsubasa's plan was to bait Ryu to use his special move. And to give this man some credit, he was technically the first person to ever stop this move. It was a miracle. But then Ryu looked at this man and said, Wow, impressive. Well, let's see if he can do that again. Huh? So Ryu charged up another one, then started to drain his soul to make sure Bro did not get up a second time, then just pile drive this bait. This man Tsubasa was cooked. <laughs> Oh, and not to mention, the man destroyed the stadium once again. <laughs> so that's another case of so putting a fired? nigga in a coma with property damage on the side. So next up was the battle of the dogs. Because this man, Kiyoya, was one of the only people to ever give this man a fight. But before the fight even happens, look how Ryuga asserts his dominance. This man blows up the stadium once again just because he felt like Go with it. This and man, also, bro. since he blew up the stadium, this fight is a death match now. Because since the stadium's gone, there's no recaps. So they start fighting. Oh my God. This fight is a death match now. Because since the... Bro, what the fuck? Stadium's gone, there's no ring outs. So they start fighting, and is actually holding his own, which is a rarity when it comes to fighting this nigga. But over time, Ryuga just started pressuring this man. Bro started to get flung. Like, look how bro hit that wall. Like, this man's spine has to be fucked. He probably gave him scoliosis after that hit. But Kiyoya was going blow for blow with bro. While well, they were setting off literal mortar Worse, strikes bro. in a public domain. Like, I'm on all honesty surprised that most of these pedestrians at these damn tournament arcs do not die. Like, how one of these niggas not caught astray? And look at Kiyoya just getting blown the fuck up while they just cheering in the background like, yeah! Like, if you really think about it, these motherfuckers are sick. They are here watching, like, 12-year-old kids have a death match. So they both end up going in for their final attack and set off a nuke. But Ryuga ends up getting taken over by El Drago. And El Drago told that man, My time is over, little nigga. So this man charges up an egregious attack that made everybody evacuate the stadium again. And Kiyoya. <laughs> <laughs> This brother got annihilated. Bro straight up got impaled on a kid show. And bro just staring at him like, yeah. yo. Yo, what anime? Yo. With some anime, I feel like. How do, how do I put it, bro? Obviously, it's animated. It's like cartoonish. It's different from like an actual movie with humans and shit, obviously. Like. Even with like anime or cartoons, bro, they don't be caring. They don't be caring to hide like the graphic stuff or, or the, the, the violent shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Weak ass niggas. Another nigga, another coma. So obviously, Kiyoya's biggest glazer, Ben K, got mad as hell. Bro was like, ah, How dare you touch my glorious king, Kiyoya? So he tries to attack him, but Ryuka Open. jumps up and tells him, Sit down, Porky the Pig. And Ben K gets boomed. And this is the second time he didn't got boomed. He got boomed in the Battle Royale. And just like that, this man made the finals and put all his opponents in comatosis. Oh, but <laughs> we can't forget what he did to the other opponents after their fights. Any person that was associated with the Dark Nebula in this tournament, yeah, Ryuga boomed their ass after they lost. The Yo, if I'm in this competition, in this tournament, and I'm seeing everybody get packed up, one by one by one by one, one after next, after next, after next, bro. And it's the same guy doing it. I'm gonna think twice ab about continuing the tournament, but I ain't gonna lie. I just got a triple kill. I wanna get Maybe. packed up and sent to the wall like these motherfuckers. There's two niggas on the ground over here. They already oh, no. got fucked up. It was probably so brutal, they didn't even <laughs> decide to show it. And bro wasn't even done. After this, he takes out the Afro nigga again. And also the crab nigga. Bro just brutally assaulted seven dudes in the amount of 30 seconds. So they could basically nah, become food for El Drago. Oh, but you thought he was done? No, no, no. He ended up catching this man, Doji, lacking. Bro is beat up in everything. So Doji out here trying to say, his ass like ah oh, master ryuga my glorious king just so you know i didn't get to beat up by anybody but this man ryuga did not that? care bro said look how you look you weak as shit so go ahead and make yourself useful and give up that ass no 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 wait 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 so ryuga starts murdering his closest ally and just straight up takes his soul this man doji uh, let's be real y'all this man got his booty devoured 
The fact that he dodged death right here is astonishing. So now it was finally time for the finals. The greatest of all time versus the main character. Surely the goat wouldn't get robbed by plot, right? Oh my get me my money. So them boys let it rip. And Ryuga's already coming in no. with the pressure. He's damn near pushing this man Jingo off the damn stage. And he's just eating every single special move he's getting thrown at him. Look at him. He uppercutted the shit out of his mate. He just slammed it into the ground and he's just drilling it. So this fight already looks wrapped up. Ryuga already got a 3-1 lead and is beating this man's ass. The finals trophy is his. But of course, the refs, I mean the writers, come in to save the day. Because here comes the power of friendship. All this man's friends are here on top of this building. The script is trying to rob this nigga. So obviously, Jenga gets Damn. an amp and is somehow Damn. pushing this That's man. That's crazy. This is some bullshit. I refuse to believe that. I mean, he did say that if you get if you get angry in front of him, he charges up. You know what I'm saying? He gets more. It's like juice for him, bro. What if them cheering homie up made him weak? You know what I'm saying? This nigga is about to get 28-3. So Ryuga's like, oh hell no, nah, my legacy's on the line. So my man charges up his Gallic gun and he goes ahead and shoots it at him. But this man Jink is pushing it back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're witnessing a robbery. So then El Drago takes over Ryuga. And bro was not pleased. Bro said, oh hell no, nah, nigga. Our legacy's on the line and you pulling this bullshit? No, nah, fuck that. So Jenga just started getting ah. El Drago was whooping hey, that yo, ass. Yo, yo. Bro had to save the legacy. <laughs> Bro was pulling out every single move in the move list. Jenga was damn near close to getting packed. But then again, here comes a script writer saving the day. Because Hikaru, Sabasa, oh and Kiyoya. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck? This is corny. This is corny, bro. That's so corny, bro. I thought he was going to do something to defend himself. Not anybody else. <laughs> Come to save this fuck nigga. It. Bro, what the <laughs> fuck, fuck is a ref? Can we get attack? Like bay interference or something? So they basically make this man's bay a spirit bomb. And the fight ends up going to the stratosphere. And El Drago gets slammed. And Ryuga takes the first loss of his career. Hey, I mean, that don't count. That don't count. He was assisted, bro. It wasn't really one on one. <laughs> I don't count, bro. That's you want to give him a loss, give him half a loss. I ain't gonna lie, a full loss. Oh no, that's Tough crazy, times, man. It sucks when you see your goat lose, bro. Hey, but get this though, right? You could make hey, some use of Storm Pegasus had to retire. Blood said the lights were too bright. I can't do this no more. And Ryuga, that man picked up El Drago and said, I ain't gonna let these script writers hold me ever again. <laughs> bro said, Fuck going to Cancun, we going back to the lab. Took us out like a man. Took us out like a man. He's coming back, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't. I, I, me, I wouldn't count that. Uh, I wouldn't count that as a loss, bro. Man's had three other people assist him. I'll sit at one. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes Exhibit A. Yeah, uh, we're not done yet. Not even close, actually. In all. B and C. Oh nah. Okay, yo, this man's a fucking problem. Already what they want. Man's getting a second video, probably even a third, if the uh, exhibit B is too long. In score of 161. Oh. That was just the beginning of this man's legendary career. So, when will part two drop? You know what? To hell with it, bro. We'll do it just like we did with Shibuya Trials. Like the video, I'll drop this whole next week. And until then, I bid you farewell. Jeez, my boy consistent, you know. Yo, would y'all count the L? Like, be honest. Like he's, he's, Ryuga's been holding his own the entire video, bro. The entire way through the tournament. Him solo, mind you. Him alone. The only time I guess you can say where he got influenced or whatever was the time where homie was getting mad and him seeing him get mad fueled him up. That's it. But to say this is an L because these three want to protect him, bro, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll give him half, half the L, I guess. The full L, nah, this this is on this is not fair, bro. It's not fair. You know what I'm saying? It's like using cheat codes in the game, bro. You know? Shit crazy. Are you guys the epitome of black air force energy is training power and disrespect make him an unforgettable unforgettable boss? Uh let me see. Actually it makes perfect sense that the power of friendship was able to beat the blade. Yeah. Like I said earlier, I mean, I see it differently than everybody else, obviously, but the power of friendship 
it pulled up they were cheering him on and then here comes the three to protect him you know what i'm saying homie was just alone ryuga was alone the whole fucking time you know people don't fuck with him he doesn't have friends or people he can go to he just has himself um you said to yourself the thing feeds off of and grows stronger from negative emotions having that many people they're giving out good vibes probably break it harder than a taco buffet those two goals. <laughs> That's a valid point. I agree. I agree. Shit, man. Part two, three. We're either getting one video with two parts or we're getting two other videos. I don't know. Y'all let me know, though, what you guys thought. You feel me? That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm out.